Welcome back everyone. Today is the following day at 7 in the morning. We yeah. slept in definitely. We wanted to get up at 5 a.m. but now it's 7 because we were so tired yesterday. But we're gonna go now to the cliff where we take some cool pictures. Embrace a little bit the sunrise. It's not a sunrise spot, it's a sunset spot. But as we have not many days in Uluwatu, we want to explore as much possible. So we're gonna do some things at sunrise, which are sunset spots. But we're still excited to do this. we arrived at the cliff but I, I don't see actually the view we are looking for so we gotta look for the view for the picture spot there are so many monkeys here this is actually a camping site so you can pay 20k if I'm right and then you can park your car here and camp these guys from the Canary Islands we just talked to them they just camped here there's enough space for other camping vehicles or tents and you have a beautiful beautiful cliff view unfortunately we did not find the spot because a one way was blocked with trees like the locals blocked it and two the other way is completely shut or blocked by monkeys by monkeys monkey families with monkey babies and we read that monkeys can get pretty aggressive when it's come to their babies because if they feel endangered they will protect their babies makes sense so we're not gonna risk it just for a biscuit so yeah this is the Karangboma cliff over there there are two cliffs like at the same level so you can take the photographer can stand on a different cliff than the model and then you can just shoot the picture maybe we'll just blend in some pictures from Instagram it's a really really cool spot uh, check it out if you're here in Uluwatu and now we're gonna go to the beach and enjoy our day We arrived at our breakfast spot. We will make a quick stop here, get some breakfast and then move on to the beach and just, yeah, see what they offer here to eat. Let's get some breakfast, huh? Okay. All right, we finished up our breakfast and what are we gonna do next, Lara? We will go to Thomas Beach now and yeah, enjoy the view and enjoy the beach and maybe go swim. We've read up on the monkeys, so apparently the monkeys are not that dangerous, but Lara read all the information, so maybe tell us something against our monkey fears. Especially at the Uluwatu temple where we are going tonight, that the monkeys are stealing things from the tourists, but other than that I didn't really find anything. Yeah, we, just, we are used to dogs in Germany or in Europe, but we never saw any monkeys besides in Bali in 2019, but never not really like, encountered monkeys. Not in the nature. So we're just a little cautious with the wild animals because we don't know them. It's an old Indonesian. driving the scooter down here or he's at least trying to drive and I am walking because the street is really bad here I guess it's kind of a shortcut so very adventurous but supposedly we will be at Thomas Beach in about five minutes Seems like from here on we need to go by foot. I think it will take around 10 minutes to get to the beach. We just parked behind the Suka Cafe 
the cafe is called Suka Espresso and supposedly it's one of the most famous cafes here but we are here on a tight budget and it's quite expensive. Three Stubbs coffee is a great alternative for that. All right, some people just passed us with their scooters, so I guess we can just sneak behind the, the gate. So we're gonna do the same because we don't want to walk. It's so humid and hot here in Uluwadu. It's a bumpy road again, so be prepared for this. Have good tires. Just look at your rental scooter and look if the tires are flat. If they're flat, just request another scooter with better tires because you will get a lot of flat tires here. You will have to hike down a serious amount of stairs, but I think it's very worth it. It's a very unknown and remote beach here in Uluwatu. And it's very easy to find, but just hella climb down. But wow, look at this. As you see, this is a very, very quiet beach. It's not the, not the cleanest beach. There are a couple of surfers, a couple of beach dogs, and someone joined over there. But it's very quiet, not very known. So if you're here in Uluwatu, we recommend this spot just to take a sun bath, maybe dip under water, but be cautious with the water here in Uluwatu. The current is very strong, so it's easy to get pulled in. Just stay at the shore, should be fine. Going up there will be so hard right now. That's like a thousand steps. Oh. stop at Varung Ganesha 88 vegetarian and vegan restaurant actually so perfect for Lara here in Oluwatu we got some nasi champur a rice bowl and also two soups and to drink and we also got two brownies for free So I quickly changed my outfit, Mark did too, and we are ready to leave to the Uluwatu temple. We are very excited to see how the dance is gonna be and how the temple looks like. I guess we arrived, huh? Looks like I already see the monkeys again. Wow, there are some monkeys. We had some monkeys at the hotel and they showed their teeth towards us and were walking to us. So. We don't have lucky encounters with monkeys, no, no friendly monkeys. But I think this is the official Uluwatu temple parking lot. A lot of cars are here and the parking is 1000 rupiah. Let's see if we find it. All right, Lara, time, time for a sarong. Now it's time to go inside and the ticket fee is 50k per person. 
and the dance is 150k per person extra. Alright, we have the tickets, 150 per person, actually pretty nice tickets. And then they gave us also an explanation in English for the dance. We will just blend it in in a video so you can read it in peace. Let's go! It starts in 6 minutes. It's so cool, it's kind of like a theater and all, it's pretty much only local people here and they enjoy it so much. And we just don't understand a thing and thing, but still it's so fun to see that everybody is so happy about the dance. Alright, Whoa! <laughs> Fireballs are insane! Wow, yeah. It's super scary to sit in the front row. <laughs> right, the show is over. And Lara's going down on stage because she wants a selfie with one of the actors. So let's shoot the selfie. <laughs> Lara, what is your impression of the theater? This was wild. I never experienced such a theater before. I actually never attended a Balinese dance before, so this was really, really fun. Yeah, and the guide was really helping because Lara was explaining what was happening and then it made sense and was really cool to watch. So we recommend this. It's 200,000 per person with the entrance, oh, yeah. yeah, with the entrance to the Uluwatu Temple and then the ticket here. It's cool. Check it out, guys. Alright guys, we are here at Casa Asia, gonna eat our dinner, talk about the day tomorrow and we call it day, huh? Yeah, it was a pretty adventurous day and we are very happy with it, it was great and we lost the water. And that's it guys, see you tomorrow, bye bye. Bye bye. Currently we are at the Uluwatu temple and we are attending a Balinese dance here. Alright, 
we call it a day. It was a pretty successful day in Uluwatu's uh, cool beach. So this fire show, the clip where he kicks the fire was insane. And we're gonna finish it off with some pizza and salad at Casa Asia.